Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Kevin Trin. Today, I'm going to show you how to edit multi-screen videos using your iPhone via iMovie, the one that is on your phone. And let's get right into the video. So here is how to edit multi-screen covers on your iPhone via iMovie. Here's the thing here. You're going to need a lot of projects, like a lot of them, because you're adding a project on top of a project and on top of a project. And I'll tell you why later in a second. Now, this whole thing is for my Wonder Music video that I've arranged. So, if you haven't watched that, please do it before you watch this one. Because this video is going to show you how to do it. Even though, if you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. It's at the iCard right there. And let's get started. I'm going to open my movie. Because it's going to show you the basic steps of how to do it. So step one, you need to have a background. Now I prefer just a blank background, no text, nothing, just a background of a plain one. I recommend doing a black or white screen, but you can also have a background with good detail, especially if you plan and stuff. Step two, make sure Ken Burns is off. Otherwise, your image is going to move, especially when you already planned beforehand. It's going to move and you don't want that. Step 3. Make sure you export and drop your master file. Yes, your master file. Do not put any other ones because otherwise it's not going to sound great. And make sure that your master file is at the end. See, I can't add more. Oh, I could, but it's going to repeat itself. And then in some cases, you may need to extend to like two footages in my case because the limit is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It's all good as long as your master file is at its limit. Step 4, please add your least important one. Just add any other except for the ones that is like very important to you like your lead vocal or so. And here's how you do it. First thing, go to video or you can just go to moments. I don't mind and then go to like wherever you want then just click one and go to picture and picture because that will allow you to adjust and move your picture otherwise none of them work after you get there and then you have to place it in wherever you want I mean it's up to you but before you do any cutting and stuff make sure your footage syncs with the audio file and if it's completely in sync I recommend you watch the whole thing before you do any cutting then you can just cut and do whatever you want it's up to you step 5 I even like step four, and that's after that step. then go export your movie now I recommend do it at a size that you can manage because you're gonna have to use it throughout the whole thing because you're building a project on top of one and on top of one and you can't delete any of them so save video please don't export in 4k especially if your storage is super small like my case I have 32 gigabytes just export it at the HD resolution just do it anyways if your storage is very small I recommend 720 don't export 360 or 540p. <laughs> the image is going to be bad. After you get there, next step is to use that footage on top of another one. So just drop your exporter file that you just did and then just put it there. Then you just add your another footage and make sure that you go here and then go video or moments and then just make sure you click more picture in picture and then just stop it here. And of course, just make sure that the video is in sync and just do whatever you want before you export it. And then you have to repeat, repeat until you reached all the way to your final video. As you can see here, this is the final project of mine. And this is the reason why I tell you to put your most important footage last. Because when you're doing picture in picture, when you export a project, well, it's just going to be recognized as a video. So naturally, when you just export the footage and export the footage, when you do a picture in picture, it's going to overlap on top of them. 
And that's the case with the lead vocals. See that middle thing there? That's my lead vocal. And as you can see, it's overlapping the guitars. You probably may want or not want that, depending on your case. But I recommend you put your most important footage last, so that managing is much easier and it looks more cleaner. Then after that, the next step, export your last one, and then you can just put it on your final video. Or you can just put your end screen, your ending title, and your title one, and then you can do whatever you want. Then step, oh my gosh, <laughs> step nine, export your final video, and you can go upload it to YouTube, make sure you get your thumbnail ready, and voila, you're good to go. Now, here's the thing that you should know. Do not delete any of the footage. The reason why is because you have to use your footage throughout the thing. And if you delete them, oh no, no good. Because the footage is going to be lost and it sucks. Except for the final video, you're good. Second of all, you can't just do a normal multi-screen edit by just adding another footage on top of one. Because iMovie doesn't allow that. Because if you try to, it's going to move all the way here. I'll show you. You see? It's all the way there. And you don't want that. So try to avoid adding other footages. Just follow my steps and you'll be good to go. And you can make your epic multi-screen covers just with your iPhone. I hope that is helpful. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, please turn on the notifications, please comment for more suggestions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.